David, if you want to know how the stock market's going to bottom, you have to watch Darden. And the reason why I'm parent of Olive Garden is that almost every day we got an estimate cut. Almost every day. Instead, what happened is they actually beat the new lowered numbers. And Olive Garden had terrific same source sales restaurants for a 6.5, long or stay 10. Um, and what happened, David, is if you were to cut every day, estimate cut, estimate cut, cut, estimate cut, once the estimate cuts are done and price targets cut and the company does better with big EBITDA and a lot of repurchase of shares, what happens is the analysts finally get to raise their price target. And that is what's going to, ha- going to happen with Dart. So what you see here is, is it obviously got crushed on when we had the yeah, pandemic. Of course, so, uh, then it went up as down. we opened. And then it started going down because people believe that, wait a second, maybe the economy is stalling, j Powell, whatever. And the fact that they did... Now, this, this pattern, by the way, ha- has not been repeated anywhere else. I mean, we saw it arguably with maybe with Lenore. But this is the new pattern. And there are so few... St- Nike will be the next one, where Nike numbers cut, number cut, number cut, price target cut, price target, and then it, it will win. It'll beat it. We have to have this happen to almost every stock. And it's just, you know, S&P 500. There are 500 stocks to S&P 500. I thought of that myself when I came into work. And although we've had people one time say, can you believe there are 500 stocks to S&P 500? That's not me. But this is the winner. This is how you, this is how we pull out of this morass. And there are very few companies that have done this. Right. But we're, we're more, many more pre-announced. We're not, they have, and we're not in earnings season. And, of course, it's a look back. We need the guidance. Yeah, that will Nike's going to so be the important. next. Nike's going to be gonna very su- difficult. Some of these companies are going to have a very difficult time figuring right. out guidance. And, and many are already planning blocks. for a tougher second half. They're pulling back, for example, on advertising and things like that, that you know, well, I can do it last minute if I have to, but let me start pulling back exactly. now in anticipation of a slowdown. Exactly. So you're going to have a lot of companies that do not do what Darden did. They're going to miss them, especially the price targets have been lowered. But Darden is textbook of how you can beat it. Beat the Bears. I'm calling this the Beat the Bears. All right. Okay. And by the way, David, Longhorn Steak for the money, best Bloody Mary I've, I've ever had. Longhorn Steak, really? Best Bloody Mary I've ever had. No kidding. I'll take you to my Longhorn. It's really amazing. Horseradish, you like that in there? What do you what do You, you don't even have with? to ask. They yeah. put horseradish right Delicious. in. Delicious. Yeah. Local horseradish, too. I don't use horseradish enough in things. Right? I grow horseradish. You do? Yeah, it's very hard to grow. I didn't even know it grew. <laughs> 